Well, good evening, Handicapable Ministry. Welcome back to our YouTube service on this, the last Wednesday in May, May the 29th, 2024. Let's see what songs we got. Oh, the Lord's Army. I look out there, I see a lot of potential recruits. We want to recruit you to the Lord's Army. You know the routine. Okay, guys, lead us in the way we're going to recruit new people to the Lord's Army. Here we go. All righty, the Lord's Army. Got anybody in the Lord's Army? All right, you ready? I may never march in the infantry, ride in the cavalry, shoot the artillery. I may never fly o'er the enemy. I'm in the Lord's Army. I'm in the Lord's Army. I'm in the Lord's Army. Here we go now. I may never march in the infantry, ride in the cavalry, shoot the artillery. I may never fly o'er the enemy. I'm in the Lord's army. Woohoo! Now, how about that? Tommy, did you think we did a good job singing it? Well, he said yes. Chrissy, what about it? Dale, Master Sergeant Dale, thank you for your help, okay? Oh, another thing that we always talk about is the B I B L E. And I always say, what's another word for the B I B L E? And shouts come from our handicapable congregation. They say, our roadmap. It's true, the Bible is our roadmap that shows us how we're supposed to guide ourselves through life. And even though when we get in those difficult situations and we get roadblocks in the road of life, we know how to get around them with the help of others and especially with Jesus Christ as our Lord and the Savior. What is our Bible lesson spelling test going to be tonight? The Bible. How do we spell the Bible? Tommy, you know it. That's right. It. Okay, here we go. The B-I-B-L-E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the Word of God. The B-I-B-L-E. One more time. The B-I-B-L-E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the Word of God, the B-I-B-L-E. The Bible, right. Way to go. Way to sing. All right, we're looking for new people for a place in the choir. This is a great song right here that Bill Fritz has given us. I think you'll enjoy it. All God's creatures got a place in the choir. Some sing low and some sing higher. Some sing out loud on a telephone wire. Some just clap their hands, a pause, or anything they got now. All God's creatures got a place in the choir. Some sing low and some sing higher. Some sing out loud on a telephone wire. Some just clap their hands, a pause, or anything they got now. Listen to the top where the little bird sings And the melodies and the high notes ringing And the hood all cries over everything And the blackbird disagrees Singing in the night time, singing in the day And the little duck quacks and he's on his way And the otter hasn't got much to say And the porcupine talks to himself All God's creatures got a place in the choir Some sing low and some sing higher Some sing out loud on the telephone wire some just clap their hands or paws or anything they got now. Dogs and the cats, they take up the middle where the honeybee hums and the cricket fiddles, the donkey prays and the bony neighs, the old great badger sighs. Listen to the bass, it's a one on the bottom Where the bullfrog croaks and the hippopotamus Moans and groans with the big to do And the old cow just goes moo All God's creatures got a place in the choir Some sing low and some sing higher Some sing out loud on the telephone wire Some just clap their hands or paws Or anything they got now Simple. 
jungle song, a little song everywhere By the ox and the fox and the grizzly bear The dopey alligator and the hawk above The sly old weasel and the turtle dove All God's creatures got a place in the choir Some sing low and some sing higher Some sing out loud on the telephone wire Some just clap their hands A pause or anything they got to All God's creatures got a place in the choir Some sing low and some sing higher Some sing out loud on the telephone wire Some just clap their hands A pause or anything they got to All God's creatures got a place in the choir Some sing low and some sing higher Some sing out loud on the telephone just clap their hands, a pause, or anything they got now. All God's creatures got a place in the choir. We have so much fun singing that with our in-person worship service. We've already got several people. Uh, I've been designated to represent the elephant family. <coughs> with my big old ears and my big old trunk right there. So I'm looking for more people. They got a little bit of ears, kind of like mine. You could be in the elephant section. Uh, Renee, I think, has gotten, she's going to be maybe, I forgot what she's going to be. I think it may be the giraffe, but I'm not sure. But we got others that are finding out where they want to be. But that is a zappy song. Bill Fritz, thank you so much for that. We love to have fun at Handy Caper. Time for prayer. Hi, Heavenly Father, we do have fun at Handy Capable, and just what a joy it is to be a part of this wonderful YouTube worship service. Father, we've been doing this since uh, back in 2020, and we've just been blessed beyond measure the number of people that we're able to reach through the YouTube service, and also, Father, the number of people we're reaching through our in-person worship services. We're just so thankful that we have this wonderful church where we can gather together, not only for our weekly worship services, but for our different type of social activities like we've had recently. Bless us in all that we do and continue to bless our world and our leaders and all those who make the important decisions that will help us to become a better place to live. For we ask these things in Christ's name. Amen. All righty. Christian rules to live by. Be kind and tender heart. Ephesians 4, verse 32, it says, Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. The law of forgiveness. You know, in the Lord's Prayer, and we raise the Lord's Prayer up every single week, we have handy capable. And uh, it said, Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our trespasses, as we forgive others who trespass against us. That's what it says right there. That is the prayer that Jesus gave us. And it says specifically right there, we're thankful for the bread that's provided, but also we're asking God and Jesus to forgive us of our sins. But likewise, we need to forgive those who have sinned against us. God forgives us because of his great mercy. We mentioned this a little bit last week in our lesson and everything, but it's so true that uh, with the great mercy that uh, Jesus provides, he wants us to come. He's always willing to, to forgive us. And as we come to understand God's mercy, we want to be like him. You know, I think about, uh, you know, so many of the ways that I've had to go to other people, things that have been done that uh, I was not good about uh, handling different situations. I've asked for forgiveness. It's always been able to rectify that and been able to work things out. But we need to be strong and do that. And also when people come to us asking for forgiveness, we need to welcome them back uh, with the friendship and the love of Jesus. All right. The law of forgiveness. You know, Jesus was on the cross and he forgave those who crucified him. Can you imagine how difficult that could have been to be on the cross? He looks down there of all the soldiers and other people that uh, had ridiculed him and wanted him to die. And he said, God... Father, forgive me, for they know not what they do. You know, that even extends over to Peter. Look at some of the disciples. Peter actually denied Jesus. You know, he denied him three times outside in the courtyard while the trial of Jesus was taking place. And then when Jesus had the opportunity to, to meet Peter and some of the other disciples, and they came on the beach and they had fished together, and uh, Jesus asked Peter three times, Peter, do you love me? Peter, do you love me? And Peter, do you love me? And, you know, he just has his instructions, but he forgave three times for the, each time that Peter denied him. And we could 
follow other examples and explain other examples that have taken place in the Bible where Jesus forgave others. So having received forgiveness, we should pass it on to others as we continue our journeys in life. You know, the world will be such a far better place. I think we need to have much more kindness in the world and try to reach out and have understanding that we're not all made the same. We're all made a little bit differently and we all walk through our paths of journey in life and we sometimes, we don't get on the, the places that we like to be. We get in bad places and we need to get away from those bad places. And a lot of times it takes the encouragement of others to help us back on that narrow path of righteousness. All right, three things we want to do is we want to continue to be followers of Jesus. We want to follow Jesus, read, believe, and act on His Word. And we want to pray for strength and guidance. And if we do those things, we're well on receiving our heavenly reward. And I just want to encourage everybody to come back to our in-person worship services here at St. Paul United Methodist Church, Corner of Highland and Rose. We start at 6.30. We'll have you out by 7.30. And pay attention. we got some good social activities coming up in the summertime and in the fall. God bless you all. We love you with the love of the Lord. And always remember, God and Jesus loves us more than we could ever imagine. Have a good one.